Hey everybody, thanks for checking out the channel today. Uh, this is just a quick tip. Um, you're not going to see me on camera today. I'm just going to show what I'm doing here. When you're cutting MDF on the table saw, uh, I find it to be the safest way because, you know, MDF creates a lot of dust. Um, the safest way for me that I've found to cut MDF is to cut just below the surface of it. So it's not spewing all that dust up into your face. So we want to keep the saw blade, um, you know, really just below, I mean, a sixteenth of an inch. That's all you really need. MDF cuts pretty easily with a knife. So my plan is to cut this piece of MDF. This is just a scrap piece. I'm making a small shop project. Um, but I'm going to cut this piece of MDF a sixteenth of an inch uh, shy of cutting all the way through. And then I'm going to come back with, uh, with a knife and cut the rest of it there just to prevent all that dust. I've got my, my dust collection. Um, you can see down through here. Maybe you can't, but I've got a pipe down there. That's my dust collection pulling everything. So it pulls everything that goes into this channel straight down and out instead of up into the air. I mean, always use a, uh, a dust mask. I've got my dust mask across the way on my messy workbench. But there's my dust mask. Sorry for this not being the best quality. I am zooming in with my cell phone. It's still, uh, <laughs> you get the point. I'll be having my dust mask on as I make this cut. But yeah, just a tip. If you don't want sawdust with cutting MDF, um, shooting up into the air and getting into the air, into your lungs, on all over everything, because it is a very fine dust, just keep it just shallow of uh, cutting all the way through the surface. Thanks for checking it out, and uh, keep checking back for more videos.